Today, we're going to take a look at the best that the captain's event has to offer. What's up, guys? Finally, he sleeps here. Uh, I have a full squad of champions event players. Uh, this was... Uh, a lot of them are just, it's its a weird match of uh, positions, so it's really difficult to kind of put a full team together. Uh, and we are ranging from like Drecky here at goalie at 86, all the way up to Cruyff at 95 at striker. There's a few out of position, um, a few out of position players, but overall... Um, the quality that this event is bringing in the players, it's, if there's somebody in here that you're looking for, or you need a position, uh, testing these players just to see what I could put them through their paces has worked out fantastic. There are a few standout gems in here, a couple that are no surprise, and then a few that really didn't perform near as well as I kind of had hoped they would. Um, first, though, make sure you subscribe here at YouTube so you never miss when any of these videos go live for FC Mobile. And then check out my other links and Twitch channel as well. All right, so let's get into it. Um, we have this squad. I've got some gameplay. Let's go ahead and start some gameplay. Um, that way we can kind of see what they'll do. And then uh, we can pause the gameplay and take a look at each of the individual players. Just running a match in... Actually, I think this is Rivals just to see how well they can perform. Uh, these are gifted players, so thank you, EA, for allowing me to test this stuff out. Uh, the The problem with that, though, is, is I'm not going to play ranked. I'm not going to use these in, like, head-to-head -head or anything unless I'm playing unranked, so it's easier to kind of take a look at them in gameplay uh, versus uh, the AI for one of the matches. So here we go. We have left-wing Stoichkov coming in. The dribbling is fantastic. Uh, there's the finish. Uh, overall, he's got 94 pace, 93 shooting, 89 passing, 92 dribbling. Uh, so here, let's let's take a look at the actual stats. Uh, 49 defending. I mean, he's he's a left wing after all. Five star left foot uh, on the left wing. That is kind. Of, I don't. I would much rather have a right footed left wing but uh performance he's he's doing fantastic in fact i think as i've used him i've kind of brought him towards the middle for more things if we look at the trait roulette powerful driven free kick tries to beat offside trap any selfish which are all good things out of a striker overall a really really strong left wing not necessarily my favorite left wing but very strong overall uh, we're going to see if we can't find the ball to everybody here in midfield and on the attack and try to push through some goals just to see what we can get out of these guys. I've been playing with them now for a couple of days, and uh, it's been fantastic. So we've got Cruyff. We'll look at who's Puyol. I have Puyol out of position. He's a right back, but we're running a 3-4-3 a three, three diamond, so I have him at right mid just because he is quick. Almost a finish. Who finished it? Wow. Stoichkov came in. It was a fantastic kick, though. Off the crossbar. Uh, let's take a look at his stats here. That should have been in. Come on. Come on. He only has 46 shooting, though, so it doesn't really... Uh, surprised me a whole lot. 46 shooting. Again, he's out of position. 84 pace. Now, that, there's no training on these or anything. These are straight base cards. Once you start training them, a lot of the numbers go way up. So let's look at 84 pace. Let's see what happens if we take him up. Look, we're already up to... If we max him out, he goes to 90 pace. That's at max. So this is all of this training is without anything. So uh, let's take a look at traits, ball roll, skill move. As an outside back though, that'll be fine. Power header is fantastic, uh, but that 84 pace, which is 90, just training a level five. You have 
to train these players hands down training is completely required if you're going to be able to use these guys in anything competitive i swear that was across the line come on come on all right so we got Puyo. let's see who else do we have let's try to find dempsey uh dempsey is out of position over at left mid he's still kind of straggling back towards the middle Dempsey, uh, as a cam, is an 89 OVR. He's got a four-star left foot, which is his weak foot. Five-star right foot. Uh, 83 pace. 87 shooting. Traits-wise, he's pushing up to uh, roulette, leadership traits, flair, long shot taker, and he's a playmaker. High attack rate, low work rate, but he's a center attacking mid, so that doesn't really bother me too much. But what I want to say about him is he, of all the center attacking mids, he's he's been one of my favorites. Uh, he was a, a diamond in the rough for me just in the testing phase because I got a lot out of him that I didn't realize that I was going to, which was great. Here's Cruyff coming in. Uh, that didn't work out. Um, Del Piero taking the PK. I didn't set any of this up. It just has to do with where their stats are at that moment. Let's. Uh, I'd really like to come back to Cruyff, but let's let's take a look at Del Piero and see what he can do next. We'll come back to Cruyff because I'm just a sneak peek here. Cruyff has been my favorite of this entire group. I mean, that doesn't really surprise anything. He's a 95 striker. Okay, so Puyo. Here we go. Center forward out of position at right wing. He's got five-star weak foot. Fantastic finishing, though. Fantastic finishing out of him. 87 pace. 91 shooting, 91 dribbling, and he plays exactly like you would expect. Um, his stats here, uh, let's see, 63 physical. Let's look at attributes across the board, 88 acceleration. This is no training as well. Faint and exit is a skill move. It's a little bit difficult to use, but once you get used to it, it works out great. Leadership, finesse shots, and playmaker. Um, it was really hard to kind of get him into play with this squad because of his out-of-position position. But um, overall, he worked really well uh, at wing, even though he's actually a center forward. Um, let's go back to Cruyff. I want to see, I want to see a good finish out of him. And then we'll take a look at his stats. We'll take it. Uh, Rainbow is his skill move. 95 pace, 92 shooting, untrained, out of the box at 95. The roulette is a fantastic skill move to use. I actually enjoy it much more than I should, only because it does make for some crazy fantastic goals. Uh, which is always fun to play with. Uh, his traits here, we've got Rainbow is a skill move, Flare, Playmaker, Outside Foot Shot, High Attack Rate, Low Defensive Rate, uh, but that 97 Acceleration is amazing. Uh, long Shots at 94. A striker with Long Shots. It's I, I usually kind of bring it into range before I do anything with it, but... The four and a half star stamina, five star skill moves. That is, without a doubt, the best player uh, in captains of all the testing I had. He was easily the most fun to play with. Uh, let's take a look at, let's find Keen. Here we go. Center defensive mid. He's part of the star pass as a 92 CDM. Uh, he's... He was probably my second favorite. If Cruyff was my first, 
Keen was second. Uh, 76 pace out of a center defensive mid, which is not a big deal at all. But he has 74 shooting, high passing rate, 86. His defending is at 88, and his physicality is at 88 as well. But as a defender, if we look at his attributes here, only two-star skill moves. Uh, high defensive work rate, medium attack rate. Ball rule. It doesn't look like he's got a lot going on on paper, but trust me, most fun at a CDM I've I've used and uh, is actually fantastic as a center defensive mid, and did more of the defensive work than any of the players in the back. The center backs were able to actually kind of pull out, and he was able to dribble through and finish. Um, Definitely a, a real big positive. Okay, so now let's look at Pele. Uh, Abedi Ayu. This is not the the pay. This is Ghana's Pele. Uh, he is center attacking mid. I've got him in position. And my biggest problem with him in gameplay was that he never showed up. Uh, even when he was he he was out of position at places where he should have been able to get the ball more, I couldn't get anything out of him. Uh, he it's like he didn't want to go to the ball. Uh, he was never pushing forward into space. It, some of that could be with the formation, but I was really disappointed with this player, and was kind of pumped at his stats: ninety three pace, eighty four shooting, eighty seven passing, ninety four dribbling. He does have uh, four-star skill moves, only a four-star weak foot, roulette, flare, speed dribbler, playmaker, uh, but it's a medium attack rate, medium defensive rate, and those work rates do come into play more than I like to admit, and that was uh, pretty disappointing overall just because of, I, I kind of wanted to see him, I, I, you know, pace was there. At 93 pace, I really wanted to see him play better than he was. Okay, we're eight goals in. Do we have time? We don't have time for anything else. Let's let's redeem Cruyff because he was is hands down my favorite player to play with. And uh, time it. Yes. Okay. So that's a good way to end it. Just because um, it. <laughs> Unbelievable striker. Obviously, he's going to be crazy expensive. He's a 95, highest rated striker that we have in the game. There's multiple 95 strikers, but he's been my favorite to use uh, coming into this. This is all fine and dandy, though, as far as the attack and midfield goes, but we kind of have those defenders. Uh, Ramos at 88, Van Dyke at 94, and... Hero in there at 90, who's one of the achievable players. So how can we kind of test those? You definitely can't test them in an AI match. Let's we're gonna we've got a head-to-head -head match going. This is unranked. Unranked head-to-head. -head. Uh we're gonna just give the ball away every chance we can. And kind of see how the defenders control things. Maybe we'll we'll put a little pressure on him. see uh i uh i really was was pumped to use van dyke and i know he's got no training uh which is it is what it is uh but he he didn't perform as well as i had really hoped him uh to which i think has a lot of, to talk about as, as far as w the difference between untrained and trained because i didn't put any training in these players and um being able to get anything out of them, you know, untrained compared to a lower OVR player that does have a lot of training is just, it's night and day. Uh, you can take an 88 and, and rank him and train him. Don't even have to go all the way up to like 30, but just take him to 15. And most of the time he outperforms a base tier player that's two or three OVRs higher. Even the best 95s in the game, you can take a 90 and put training on it, and they, they feel like they outperform, they're quicker, they control the ball. Training has a lot 
to do with how we can control things. Defensively, though, I mean, their shape and positioning is okay. I mean, this is a three-back formation, but uh, Ramos, very... He, he plays like an 88. Um, so there was no surprise there. Uh, but Van Dyke was very disappointing. Very disappointing. Hero actually does better than Van Dyke. Uh, okay, so first half is done. It's still 0-0. Zero to zero. Not getting a whole lot out of that defense. Let's see if we can't... Let's let's take this up one to nothing. If I can. Keen. Yeah, de better defending out of Keen than out of Van Dyke. It's a difference in position as well, but Keen is just much more aggressive. 92 center defensive Keen did more for me defensively than uh, Van Dyke did. There we go. And that was Keen coming back through for the touch. And Cruyff with a one-touch turn shot was damn near a Firmino no look. It was. A no look shot out of Cruyff. Not because he, he actually no looked it, but because uh, he wasn't even aimed at the goal when he took the touch. Okay. I was going to say he keeps coming down the far side of the field, but forgot that's his side of the field. See, there you go. We gave one away. Attempting to defend through the middle. And that was Van Dyke. Who got caught off the wrong foot. And then Hero didn't make the, the move over. Nobody was marking. I wonder. They're untrained. Let's look at attributes on Hero. Marking. 93 marking. Base. 93 marking. Yet he seems to leave his man every chance he gets. Okay, it's one to one. I want a second goal. Let's see if we can't turn one over on a counter here. Uh oh. Keeper coming out. Adrake coming in. That was a fantastic save. Now, look, can we counter? 82 minutes, Cruyff. Pele, there we go. And, you know, I was bitching about him earlier that he wasn't moving into space and getting where he needed to be. And there he ends up being the savior in, what, the 88th minute? 87, 88th minute coming in. All right, we'll let this auto play out. This is the squad that we used for this. Um, Del Piero, hmm, okay. It's a center forward. I, I generally don't have any use for center forwards. Cruyff, hands down, unreal, fantastic. Van Dyke, a bit of a disappointment. Um, I don't know. Uh, with some training, yes, he may perform better than he is right now, but overall... I don't know. The diamond in the rough for me, though, is is a, a split decision between Dempsey and Keane. Dempsey was much better than I anticipated him being. And Keane, even though he's a star pass player, unbelievable center defensive mid. Highly recommend Keane, Dempsey, and Cruyff if you can afford it or get lucky in this event. I'm finally he sleeps. Make sure you subscribe here. So you never miss one of these videos go live. Thanks a lot to EA for letting me test out these players and put this video together. If you've got any of these captains players in your squad and they're working for you, put it in the comments below. Or if you want to see something else uh, from, from an upcoming event, uh, make sure you pay attention to this because uh, EA is allowing us to do some of these review videos. 
and I'm excited about it. It gives us a chance to kind of play around with some new stuff. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me today. As always, as long as you keep showing up, I'll keep making videos. Thanks for watching. If you haven't noticed, my YouTube channel has expanded. Subscribe here for EA Sports FC related content, but make sure you check out my other channels as well for Raid Shadow Legends, everything automotive over at Gearheads, and then check out my cringeworthy series for a few laughs. Subscribe links are literally right over there.